Hello and good day to you. This is me, Ted Berner, and you are watching MNN Sport. Oh, wait. We have a breaking story just in, so we'll go over to our live presenter, Chip Morgenstar, for the latest sports update. Thanks, Ted. The governing body of men's tennis dismissed suggestions that corruption was rife in the sport after Belgian Gilles Elsenier revealed he had been offered €100,000 to throw a first-round match at Wimbledon in 2005. Elsenier, who has earned a modest $473,798 inches prize money after almost a decade on the men's tour, had been offered the bribe to lose his match against another journeyman, Italy's Petito Staracci, the Times newspaper reported on Thursday. Nigeria Samuel Peter will defend his interim WBC heavyweight title against American Jamil M.C. Klein next month following last week's injury to Oleg Maskev, Madison Square Garden officials said on Thursday Peter was set to fight Maskev on October 6 for his World Boxing Council crown as number one contender and mandatory challenger but the Russian pulled out citing a back injury and the Nigerian was subsequently named interim champion. The start of the seventh President's Cup between the United States and the internationals was delayed by half an hour because of heavy morning rain on Thursday. Several of the greens at Royal Montreal Golf Club were saturated and organizers decided to give the greenkeeping staff more time to prepare the course for the biennial team competition. And now back to Ted at the Monkey News Studio. Well that's all from MNN Sport. And now finally for a little light relief. We go over to our resident local live presenter, Dorothy Lollop. Hello, Dorothy. Thanks, Ted. A Belgian man angered by the bragging of French football fans during the 2006 World Cup slashed the tires of dozens of French cars, Reuters reports. The 30-year-old started to target cars with French license plates in the border town of Tournai after the tournament in which France were beaten finalists. Tests showed the man who pleaded guilty, was not suffering from mental illness and he now faces a prison sentence. And now back to Ted at the Monkey News Studio. Well that's all for now from me, Ted Berner, here at MNN Sport. Sporting updates every 15 minutes.